we go. Recording is in progress and we're all ready to go. We're all set up. This is our Monday show. This is our pop-up. Sorry if I didn't post the uh, pop-up announcement on Facebook enough early enough today, uh, but uh, I forgot. I was going to do it last night, and then I had an email I had to send, and then I forgot to do it, and so uh, screw me. <laughs> okay, but uh, we have a whole bunch of people waiting to be on this little gathering that we're having here, and uh, I am going to uh, bring them in now, admit all. Here we go. This is a good beginning. Charlie Wallace is here. Uh, 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 let me see here. Uh, uh, there's Andrew Deutsch, and there's Paul Levin, and there's uh, our old friend uh, Edward Berger. That's right. That's right. Is your mic on? Say, hello. There we go. That's a little, okay. Good. Yeah, because it was like a dis. There's Edward Berger. That's right. There we go. Boy, I wish I had a horn like that on a car. Uh, Charlie Wallace is with hey. us today. Um, uh, happy Martin Luther King Day, and thank you for your service to the Black community. <laughs> <laughs> Len LaFrisco. Hello, Len. How are you? Okay, sir. How are you? I'm fine. And uh, let's see here. Marjorie Miller is trying to join us. What happened to her? Well, anyway, there's Mandy. Hey, yay, Mandy. She's got, the day, she's got the day off, right? I do. Yeah, yeah. It's a national holiday. Actually, it's a national holiday that they didn't give us, like when they gave us Martin Luther King's birthday or Martin Luther King Day. This is birthday. I think it's a day later. Uh, they took away one of our days off. They should have just given us an extra day off. But they, uh, how they got us, to tell you the truth, is uh, they took uh, Washington's birthday and Lincoln's birthday, made them into President's Day, and then made this one into Martin Luther King's uh, Martin Luther King Day. And but what they didn't do is they didn't just give us an extra day. They had to still not give give us a limited amount of days off during the year. Uh, so I think the story before Alex that uh, my mom worked for the state of yeah. Georgia and yeah. um, changed it from Confederate Memorial. Like they switched Confederate Memorial Day to Martin Luther King. There was, was a Confederate Memorial Day. Yes, that's what they used to get, and so they took that away mm -hmm. and. Because it was Jefferson Davis's birthday, who was the president of the Confederacy. <laughs> <laughs> what was they, it? The, the official Losers Day or something? Yes. Yeah. So, that was like 1989 or something. So it's at least been over, like it's been 35 years. You know, however long ago. And were people fighting it? Probably. I'm sure there were people fighting it, but yeah. that's what they took away, at least for the state employees. Holiday. And now I don't know if any whoever celebrates that day. I don't know who those people are. Marjorie Miller seems to be having trouble getting in here. Let's oh well, there's Jeff Stein. And where's Marjorie Miller? Come on, Marjorie. Come on, you can do it, kiddo. You can do it. Marjorie, Yeah. Uh by the way, uh Charlene Solis wrote me a note saying she wouldn't be able to make it today. She has COVID. Oh, oh no! Ugh. I can't get audio. Somebody else. Oh, I've got. I, I'm. I'm. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Let me. Let me get the audio down here. It's up here. Where's the audio? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh well, here. Yeah, try it. Un unmute. Yeah. Unmute. Yeah. Start yeah. video. Yeah, try it. Hmm. 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 Well, everybody can. Everybody can see you. They can hear me. Wait a minute. Let me let me let me leave this. Leave me. Let's talk amongst ourselves. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Charlie, yeah. I'm sorry about the game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was gonna I say it didn't show up. <laughs> I could yeah, I, I, I was like, what? No, where, where's the normal thing for uh, holding it up? Uh, here, I gotta turn that down that volume so it doesn't. Here now we have to join meeting. And jiggle the handle. Oh, wait a minute. It says meeting. 
Wait a minute. I mean, the number one team in scoring all year gets behind 27 to nothing in the first half. I got a restaurant I was at, and I was like, are you sure that's the correct score? Like, I could – it was like <laughs> – um, Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Was I was going to message you on Facebook, Charlie, and I thought, you know what? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, people send me nice con consoling yeah. messages. I uh, you know, like... had a post that said, check on your cowboy friends today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm in a complete collapse. I mean, nothing. Did, uh, you, mark, I mean, did you mark yourself safe? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> The, the 49ers have marked themselves safe from having to play for them this year. You know? Hey, man, when did this turn into a sports show? <laughs> hey, Mr. Sports it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a condolence show. Where's yeah. your sports end? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was I was going to bring that up today because I saw the Cowboys really got routed yesterday. What else? Wow, nice. They're routed by bus to Chicago. Yeah, but... <laughs> so, but supposedly, am I right? They they usually never lose to this team. No, no, no. They have a, the Cowboys have the worst since two thousand. Have the worst playoff record of any. They won like three games in the last twenty years. Let me yeah. ask you this playoff. question: Not being a sports fan, okay? <laughs> how can you possibly be for a team that constantly loses? Then that doesn't have anything to do with it. You like the team or you don't like the team. I guess. Oh, here, just here like we go. The tradition and the culture, the cheerleaders, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and they won five Super Bowls, so it's not like they've always lost. Yeah. Right. Wait a minute. Marjorie is connected to her audio. Can you hear me, Marjorie? She's muted. She's muted? Oh. Yeah. Oh, asked to unmute. Okay. She's having trouble. I can, maybe, maybe I could put her on her computer to do this. She could just... Sit and watch it. Anyway, uh, no. How can you? How can you consistently be for a team that loses? That's what I don't understand. <laughs> they didn't lose. They were twelve and five. They had the best <laughs> record in the NFC, so they don't lose all. They just lose in the playoffs. Yeah. Well, then like how the can you be for a team that does that? Well, that's wow. the coach's fault. <laughs> I think got to get rid of Mike McCarthy. Really? <laughs> how do you can get a team that did that well all year? Not even show up for the playoffs. <laughs> don't pay attention to me because I I don't know a thing about football. All I know is that the uh, the uh, Cowboys are in Dallas, right? Yep. And they've got cheerleaders. They got great cheerleaders. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and that, uh, that that's about it. All the teams to have cheerleaders. Like I think they were the first team, probably right, Charlie, to have. Yeah, them. I think so. Yeah. Really. And then you know that kind of was the thing that spurred all the te the teams to get yeah. that dance team, like ones that are very good dancers and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. And what they do that at halftime? Uh, some between plays sometimes, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's a timeout or whatever. Yeah, they'll go out. Does the yeah. other team get to bring their cheerleaders? No, their cheerleaders no. are at home. They're, oh, they're yeah. so now if the Cowboys played a home team a team at their home place, then they're, the other cheerleaders would... See, I don't understand this. Yeah, they, only, they stay home. They don't. They only perform in Dallas or a special Marjorie, show. why don't you just do it on your computer? <laughs> hmm. She can't sign on today. You're on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Weird. Hmm. Yeah. There's her name. Yep. I'm Marjorie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. so don't you wish you could, don't you wish you could mute her that easily every day? I <laughs> don't you wish I could what? Mute her that easily. That every easily. Day. Oh, <clears throat> a lot, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but she'd like to be able to mute me too. There's a way of being able to mute each other. It's called divorce. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not practical. Been there done that. Hello to Paul Eleven up there in uh, in in uh, uh, Ohio. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's 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 about uh, two degrees here, but oh. but, it, but it's uh, maybe it's a little bit more. But it's that's better than yesterday because with a wind with a wind chill factor, we were like minus fourteen or something. Really? Ooh. It was uh -huh. one. It was one when I woke up this morning in Cleveland. Uh huh. Was that with wind chill or was that? No, no, just, just one, one degree. 
Wow. Yeah, but yeah. The Kansas City game on Saturday, the temperature was <laughs> minus seven, air temperature. Yeah, I knew a guy that lived in, uh, I think it was Minneapolis where I worked, mm -hmm. who built a statue that sat outside of his home, and it was a it was a statue of a brass monkey, <laughs> and he had it made so that it had testicles, and when it got really cold, there was some kind of lever that went off, and the Balls dropped into a pan underneath the monkey and made a large clanging noise so the whole neighborhood would know it was so cold you could, you know, the balls off of that. You, you sure he wasn't a man from Nantucket? <laughs> Just checking. I remember once on what was a family guy, they went to Nantucket and as it passed the city limits, there's a sign saying Nantucket, where that man is from. <laughs> that, that show is so funny. Everybody's heard that number. Yeah. yeah. You know what we're watching actually is uh Ted. On it's funny. Yeah. It's very funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The one not to watch is the curse. The final episode of the curse. I, you know something? disappointing. We, stupid couldn't, we couldn't get into the second episode of the curse. It the ending is so bad. Oh. And and you you go on the internet and look if someone understood it, and you can't find anyone out there who actually understood what the hell they were doing with the final episode. Wow. It absolutely no I sense. Don't, I don't understand the second episode. I mean, it just it's it's, it, it's a bad show. Yeah, I kept waiting for the payoff, and the payoff is it sucked. Well, Ted is very funny. Yes, they had a line in this one where um, they were quoting famous authors and things they had said. As, and finally, Ted says, and as Ernest Hemingway said once, this gun doesn't taste good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. It, it's very funny. It is. <laughs> and, and it's it's uh, proof that the pendulum swinging back from this ultra woke, can't say anything <laughs> culture. There's so many shows now. Well, you know what it is? It's coming out of a teddy bear. Yeah. 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 Okay. So they can get away with stuff coming out of a teddy bear. You know, Seth, Seth MacFarlane was supposed to be at the uh, Twin Towers on 9-11, but he overslept and, uh, and or he was drunk or something and didn't make it. And, <laughs> and, and that saved his life. Really? Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Sorry. It's crazy, oh. yeah. Yeah. We would have never had all of those. <laughs> those anyway, it was, uh, it's a very funny show. We were watching the, I don't know why we watched it. I We just, there was nothing on. So we watched the Critics' Choice Awards last night. Oh, <laughs> the first thing that was maddening about it, and I'm used to getting TV without commercials because I pay for it that way. But when you're watching it on a network, you have to watch the commercials. They would do award commercials, award commercials, <laughs> award commercials. And then they would run a thing that says, earlier tonight, these people won awards. And, you <laughs> you know, if you didn't run so many goddamn commercials, you could have given them away on the air. Yeah. We watched Air Airplane last night. <laughs> oh, so funny. <laughs> great movie. So I funny. See that in the theater. And, like, I don't even know if I got in since it was rated R, I'm sure, or whatever it was rated because it was, you know, nudity or whatever. But I remember taking, like, saying my, to my mom and my stepdad, you have to go see this. And I, like, they went to go see it with me again. It was so fun. I've seen it 20 times on cable. But, yeah. It was <laughs> top yeah. Hulu's promoting the hell out of Joe Dirt 2. And, and a friend what? of mine called me and said, are you going to watch it? I said, well, I know there were so many, you know, very important unanswered okay. questions from, <laughs> from one. I, I might. But it's every every ad that pops up, I get emails from Hulu that somehow I should be Boy, watching I Joe Dirt. One. I haven't two. seen one yet. Mandy, here's one of my favorite pictures ever. Me meeting mm. Ted Stryker. What's his name? Uh, oh, I don't even know what his name is. Hey, what happened? <laughs> what happened? What's that? I'm sure he was in other stuff, but Yeah, I don't he did a TV he was on TV for in something. I don't remember what else he did. Oh, I loved him. Well, yeah. what, what bothered me last night is when you're giving away awards and it's somebody in succession, 
do they necessarily have to win that award? And it was like, anytime it came up, blah, 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 and so-and-so in succession, I go to Marjorie, so-and-so in succession. And sure enough, they won. Yeah. Right. Now, I watched that show. And I got to tell you, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't that good. I agree. Would you agree? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't that about good. Three or four. Yeah. And there were a lot of shows listed there that were really better shows. Um, and so we, we we were watching this thing, and then the show that won everything, it, 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 Succession, whenever it was named, that person won, okay? Or that thing won. The other one was The Bear. That was great. I haven't gotten past the first episode. It's really, it's really good. You should watch the whole. What thing. is good about it? Tell me so I can uh, tell Marjorie. Yeah, the 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 characters, the writing. It's it's really an interesting story. The there's and there's I mean just if if you know anything about the restaurant business at that end, it, it's it's mm -hmm. it really portrays just how pretentious and ridiculous those people are. Oh. And the, the Michelin, the Michelin world. It's it's it's. I think it's a great show. In the well, second I, I the second thinking... season. The performances there's a there's an episode where the family gets together that's got his mother is jamie lee curtis and there's, it's just an incredibly interesting different different approach to to a tv show yeah because i i you know i didn't i watched the first episode and i it wasn't enough to get me to a second episode but everybody tells me what a great show it is so i say to marjorie well let's watch it yeah you should okay it's worth watching now and she will not watch it she would yeah. absolutely. She had to come in. I'm sitting, <laughs> I'm sitting next to me and I'll turn this up <clears throat> and hear them. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Uh, Hi, everyone. Hey, Marjorie. Hi. Yeah, wait a minute. I'm, I, I, my, I, but I only have a certain amount of length for my. You want me to get on this side? Yeah, I can hear them anyway. Can uh, you guys? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So Clearly. here we are. Should we kiss? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a glass of wine to come in here. <laughs> What's the problem? Why couldn't you sign up? I don't know, but you're gonna have to fix it for me. Because it happened with my board meeting the other night. I couldn't get audio and video. So there's something hmm. wrong hmm. with my iPad, which you as the techno person have to fix. But, but a lot of times it's just your fault. It's not <laughs> possible, but it's up to you to fix it. Oh, okay. That's your job. Anyway, see, you're still there. You're still on. Oh, I turn me off? No. <laughs> just fall down to that square. He's going to kick you out in a second. It's <laughs> I know. <just laughs> pleasure. But anyway, we know. I had a good glass of wine. We were talking about the bear, and Andrew says it's terrific. I won't watch it. You can watch it in lieu of me. Tell him about something. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care how good it is. The whole I thing won't... about how pretentious the Michelin stars are. I won't watch it. Why, Marjorie? Why? Because she's a stubborn bitch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 no dinner for him tonight. Come on, I didn't. Oh, yeah. right. And give me a break. And then, I didn't. I didn't say cunt. Okay. So. <laughs> Don't you get fined for words like that? What's the 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 masculine word for cunt? That's why. But that's why you. But what would be the equivalent? That's why Alex. I hate that word. What would be the Alex? Alex. <laughs> Alex. But if I could say a word that would mean the there's same, nothing. There's nothing. There's you there. say Marjorie. The word is Alex. Oh, <laughs> can't do better than that, baby. Explain to you why women hate that word because it's the word they can't talk. Okay. Yeah. yeah. In other words, you're having an argument. You're an asshole. You're a dick. You're a this. You're a that. You're a con. Uh, you're a. Uh, 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 <laughs> see, that's why you don't like the word. Oh, it's true. In England, that term is used affectionately. It is. Yeah. To well, like refer to it. friends and pals yeah. and so on. What? 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 What is that? What's that? What is that? I said, look at this really cute sangria I got for my friend. <laughs> Someone's trying to change the subject. Yeah. Are we doing show and tell? Should I go get something? 
Should yeah. I show him the, the, the Trump teddy bear I got you a few years back? No, we, we have shown it. You have? Oh, yeah. 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 Trump, <laughs> Trump what? You saw the blonde haired teddy bear I got him, the Trump mm -hmm. teddy bear? By, by the way, after watching Ted, I'm hoping that bear doesn't come alive. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so uh, well, some, anyway, some are for monetizing this show. Let me see. Here. So, um, but anyway, so we were watching this thing, and you know, anytime somebody said succession, give them out the prize. But not only uh, that, in the show, talk, they had closer. To they that. had commercials, and they had the person that received the award. And then yeah. at, at the real commercials, they would say the, the best picture, the best this, the best that. They didn't show it. They just listened. I know. I was it. telling them that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I know you didn't have time because of all the commercials. It was yeah. terrible. It was terrible. Yeah. And they don't know how to do award show. And our, our SAG after awards this year, guess where it's going to be on? Television. He, they used to run it on television. They used to run it on the CW, and I think at one time they even had CBS ran it. It's gone downhill from there. Where's it going? It's now on. Going to be on Netflix because they're paying for it. Yeah, <laughs> Comedy Central. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so um, this is uh, Martin Luther King's. Um, this is his birthday. It's tomorrow. It's actual birthday. The day they celebrate. This is the day they celebrate. It's Martin Luther King Day. Yes. Yeah. It is his actual birthday too. Which robbed, robbed our good friend here, uh, Mandy, of mm -hmm. uh, Confederate's Day. Well, I'm not, she doesn't. I mean, obviously, she was all for that going away. But I'm just saying, <laughs> that was a day off for them. Yeah. Well, I mean, believe me, if it had continued to exist by now, after all that's been going on, it wouldn't exist anymore. <laughs> you know. I would hope his actual. It is his actual birthday too. Yeah, yes, it is. January fifteenth is, is his actual birthday. It is his actual birthday, but it's ce celebrated on the third Sunday, Monday. It was the sixteenth. No, it's the 15th. no fifteenth. Uh, he it's celebrated on the uh, third uh, Monday in January. Yeah, but it's not always his birthday on the third. Today, today it just happens to be it really yeah. is his birthday. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it's my birthday too. Oh well, happy birthday. Hey. Yeah, happy birthday. Your birthday too, Vernon? Yeah. Yep. Happy birthday, Vernon. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. We were going out to dinner, but it's six degrees outside. And I said, let's just stay home. <laughs> I'm in my pajamas. As soon as I got mm -hmm. back, I got into my pajamas. And, and, and uh, uh, how old are you now, Vernon? Uh, let's see. Uh... <laughs> it could finally vote. 67? Old, old 75. Oh, 75. He's wow. a baby. Really? You're that? Wow. You're a baby. I would have never thought you. Well, he's eight years younger than I am. Hmm. There you go. What year was Martin Luther King Jr. born? Was it like was it like 24 or 30? Well, I know. Uh, they they said he's he's in his he would be if he was that, still alive, he'd be in his 90s. He's, no, 95. 95? Yeah. Wasn't he born on his birthday? <laughs> yeah so anyway uh, uh, so uh, good good um by the you're way Marjorie Miller, in case you're looking for in that square that says marjorie miller exactly the here. Top square <laughs> yeah 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 i joined the alex bennett square yeah mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, and and tonight, tonight, of course, is the uh, Iowa caucus, which yeah. I call it the it don't mean shit to a tree yeah. uh, <laughs> election. They're also the Tony, well, I mean, I've, Tonys or the it, Emmys. It's on. It's the Emmys and the Iowa caucus. Yeah. <laughs> Again. They sure seem to put a lot of importance on it. Though. <clears throat> what? They seem to put a lot of importance on the caucuses. You I know, know I got to tell you, Iowa is not important at all. Okay, I'll give you a reason why. Do you know who won the uh, Republican Iowa caucus uh, uh, two years ago, I think? Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. I was um, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about, I think it's three years ago was Huckabee. Yeah. And I think, it, uh, you know, Rudy Giuliani won it one year too. 
I think it's amazing. <laughs> I'm ready I just, to believe anything. <laughs> Alex, I just saw something interesting pop up on my feed here. That lawyer for you know the MAGA make attorneys get attorneys. Yeah. Uh, Joe Tacapina just quit as Trump's lawyer. <laughs> oh, Another really? one bites the dust. Yeah. Was he the guy who looked like a mob lawyer? Yeah, and he's he was <laughs> the one that was the in the the Gene Carroll case. Uh huh. He's not representing him as of today. He just quit. And wow. not representing because he didn't get paid. Oh mm, yeah. Which case? The <laughs> the one the one against uh, the the woman that was raped by him. Gene Carroll. Yeah. Yeah. We said he well, didn't well, know her. No, but, well, you see, this is a suit against Trump. This this shows you how smart Trump is. This is a suit against Trump based on the fact that she won the last case yeah. for defamation. And in replying to her win, he defamed her. Yeah. Again. He now sued him again. Well, this case, this case is only about punitive damage. It's not about retrying the case. Oh, right. right. Yeah, yeah exactly. there's no there's he's trying to rerun the case. He wants to testify this yeah, time. No. And the court said, keep it to yourself, uh, loser. <laughs> and by the way, Give by the way, if pants. they what? finally found the button that throws Trump completely lunatic anytime any anyone who refers to him as loser is the greatest thing ever. He has no defense for it except to go nuts. Yeah. Uh, so we have to start calling them. The so if any any reporter who says uh, something like, you know, is it what do you think about fifty percent of the of Americans have decided that you're a loser? Just watch him. <laughs> just just refer him, loser J Trump. Uh, Throw the uh, loser at him. He it's it's his kryptonite. Well, he's got uh, a nickname for everybody else, so you know. Yeah. What? Yep. Hey, Biggest what, loser. What, everybody, 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 watch your manners. Albert's here. Albert, he's hi. Now we have a well, Albert. What does manners have to do with anything? Hi, uh, Albert. Hi, Marjorie. Why are you not in your own box on Hollywood? <laughs> visiting. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Why is Marjorie not in her own Hollywood Squares box like she usually? Is? Oh, you I'm, I'm, I'm visiting. No, oh, okay. Yeah, no, she mm. can't get her. She can't get hers to work. The audio or the video. It happens. Did you reboot? I did it. I did, did it. Did you reboot? Yes. Did you just turn off the machine? I did it all, did Alex. I did everything. Did you really? Yes, I did. I don't believe you did. Well, if it's an iPad, can't you take it into Alex and have to reboot it? Go check if you want. The major rule I give her always is to reboot. And if anything goes wrong, reboot, right? That's what I tell Ann. If something goes wrong with her tablet, just reboot it. <laughs> Don't wake me up from a dead sleep. <laughs> reboot. <laughs> Doesn't reboot. I do reboot, and I did. Okay. See, I think this is better than Mika and Joe. <laughs> what did you say? Tell him, Marjorie. What did she say? I said I think this is better than Mika and Joe on oh, MSNBC. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd say so. I like that you call it Mika and Joe. I like that instead of Mika? Joe and Mika. Instead of Joe and Mika. Yeah. <laughs> I like Mika and Joe. But I like to read from left to right. So. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, somebody was trying to get on here, but I didn't recognize him, so I'm not bringing him on. Good. Is it probably start running videos of guys masturbating or something? Even though on your thing you say join us <laughs> for <our Zoom. laughs> with the exception of <laughs> just these just these fifteen people. Well, That's I it. like to be all inclusive, but you know, <laughs> oh no, and the person didn't try again, so I don't think they really wanted to. I totally get it. How's everything know. down there in uh, FLA? Uh, is it cold today at all down there? It's a little cooler than usual, but... Uh, it's cold know, there. It's raining today. What's the what temperature? Today. What's cold? Cold is like seven, uh, 70, uh, 99. 72? 72, something like that. <laughs> I I just got rushed here from the gym just to just to come and say hello to you. Uh, radio pioneer Alex Bennett, and I know you're called a radio pioneer for many, many things. But as I was, uh, you know, skimming what little news I skim because it's just news, I did realize that it was a very, very cold day in Iowa for the and New York uh, office. And I remembered that 16 years ago, you and I and Michael Billy were at the caucus doing the first live radio broadcast from the caucus. 
Hmm. Oh, happy anniversary. It wasn't nobody had ever done a live radio broadcast from the caucuses. I don't think anybody had ever done a radio broadcast at all. Because we were doing a literally a live uh, uh, thing, weren't we, about the actual caucus itself? I know well, I, I don't. Well, I, let me let me say I, I'm not sure whether it was live, but it was certainly the first radio broadcast from the caucus. But weren't you weren't you talking on like a um, a luncheonette table? No, that was New Hampshire. <laughs> that's when we went to new hampshire the new caucus hampshire, was a whole we different in, story we were in this diner that supposedly all the politicians came to right. as they were running it was a famous place for and in the entire three days we were there i don't think any politicians dropped in no there were there were one or two i remember really oh, yeah. okay okay what but, happens yeah. in the actual caucus what what, what, what caucus is a very interesting process actually but and it, silly but it still yeah. doesn't mean crap you know, but it is fun, isn't it? It's real democracy. Yeah, it's 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 like being in the 1800s. It's, it's not. Kind of it's but... not like a real, you know. Okay, everybody walks into kind of this thing. gymnasium, right? Mm -hmm. You know, there are many school places, but in this case, it was a gymnasium, if I remember correctly. And uh, they have signs. It says, you know, Trump, whatever, DeSantis, whatever, yeah. And Haley, and then they say, "Okay, everybody, line up in front of the sign that's for your <laughs> candidate," and then everybody does that. Now that's not the end of it because now, well, they don't line up, but they gather in the same area. They don't count yeah, they, them. They, they gather in the they, same. They area, do probably. count them, but but do they, they count don't. Them? They don't. But then yes, they people do, yes. from the other side come to this group and see if they can siphon off some of the people onto their group by convincing them politically that this person was better than the one you're lining up for. Oh, boy. Best really? way to describe it? Yes, and then they count them, and then the one who gets the least votes is out of that caucus. So now everybody... And, they, and then they try to bring those people who have lost to their group again. So if, just for instance... Are if you Trump all getting this? Out, any question about what we're saying? Okay, go ahead. If Trump had the least supporters, then the Trump supporters would then go to the De DeSantis table and the Haley table, uh, and they would count again. And the process, as it starts with five or six candidates, the process will shrink and shrink and shrink until one candidate gets the most amount of supporters. Okay, but how um, do the do the people in in the in the groups represent a whole population? They, they, they're from the community. It's There's a many community. people who show up who decide to show up for the caucus. It's like you they're going to elected. a polling place. People yeah. go to their caucus place. Oh, okay. And it's does this like happen that. all over the state? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, now I get it. Yes. And and the interesting thing is there were, were some tables who that had uh, pizzas and uh, soft drinks and, and things to lure yeah. you to the table and yeah, they they get to you get there. Better. Yeah. yeah, they did have things like pizza and yes, so they uh, did. Yeah, <laughs> and, but they didn't give it to us because we weren't caucus people. We were no. the media. Well, I was up above the floor looking right. down, and right. it really was it was a fascinating process. But it doesn't mean anything because uh, to begin with, the people involved are only the people that show up, mm -hmm. and then people have to be convinced and whatever. And as I'm saying, in the last three caucuses. The people who won didn't wind up being the nominee of the party. So how good is that process? Is that right? The people who won didn't wind uh, up being the uh, nominee? How could that be? One year. Uh, 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 what's his name? Oh, didn't wind up being the nominee. But but one in year, the state, yeah. they won. They won their yeah. nomination in the state. In the That's state. Not, but with, but with, it never, they never went on to be the nominee of the party. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. no, but that, but that, that depends that, on the whole country. It was like, so so this, this this thing with the caucus is, is how they arrive at the state's primary the state's nominee. nominee. Right. And they all come up with, OK, Trump won here. OK. And then they send that to the state. And then the person who wins, you know, there are a lot of caucuses all over the state, like the one we were at. In every and, county. And or... then they add them all up as to who won each of the most caucuses. And that's the nominee they <laughs> get for the party. So that's the vote. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, instead yeah, of going to your, 
instead of going to your district to to check a, a box or or right. press a button, You're you go you go to hang out with the people in the caucus, and then they tally those numbers up. So it's very public. Oh, oh yes, yeah. it is very yeah. public. Oh yeah, which makes it that I think that's pretty interesting. That's you would so know public. that you were for uh, Trump, for instance. If you stood in the Trump line now, what's interesting, too, is there's also a Democratic caucus going on. Yeah. But he's talking about it because there's really only one. No, candidate. there there isn't the, the Democratic. The, the Democrats are starting in South Carolina. The Iowa caucus for Democrats is later. They sw they switched it up. Yeah. The Democratic caucus in Iowa is later. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the first the first primary first that's happening mm. for the Democrats in South Carolina this year. Hmm. They they move they move New Hampshire and Iowa after I believe. Wow. Well, the, also there's a different, slightly different voting procedure for the Democrats over the Republicans. It, it's very hmm. strange. Yeah, they're not allowed to vote for dictators. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you are, uh, Vernon. I heard something interesting. It was an opinion, but it's talking about the Republican caucuses, and that is. You know, the, the people are so tribal in Iowa that if you go to the caucus and you don't end up supporting the major candidate, then you're ostracized from the community for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. wow. See, that was what surprised me, that it's so public. It's not like yeah. taking a secret vote. You have to you it's have not to a be... secret vote at all. Yeah. That's... That, that, that's, that's another thought I had was as... Um, as much of a scumbag as Trump is going after people who, who are against him, what if his caucus people take video or pictures yes. of people who did yes. not caucus with them? Yeah. And and yes, there should be ostrac <clears throat> ostrac say, ostracized. Say that name again. Say that word again. Ostracized. 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 Right, that ostracized. word. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they won't only be ostracized, but they, they, they will, who knows what threats could be. That's against. where you put them down for not owning an ostrac. That explains why corn grows so well there, all that bullshit. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what was it like being there? Was it fun to be there? It was damn cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think I enjoyed that more than I enjoyed uh, New Hampshire. Yeah, well, you could move around a little more in there than you could in the diner, so that was a little more fun. Yeah, and I remember one night I went to a, 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 an Obama rally, and he kept not showing up. Finally, I I said I got to go to sleep because I got to do a show in the morning. Okay, just a good speech. Did you were you there for his speech? Absolutely, I was yeah. there. Yeah, but he took forever to get there. So, but it, it, it but oh, how can mm. I get in? Says Ed Cramp. Ed Cramp, if you're listening, just uh, go to uh, my, uh, what is it? Uh, Gabnet.net. Gabnet.net or Facebook. Uh, no, go to Facebook. Go to Facebook. Yeah, the Alex Bennett. Go Facebook. Facebook forward slash Alex Bennett. And then uh, over, uh, it, we have a thing where you can click on it and you can get here. Or you can go to gabnet.net on the right hand side of the page. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a, a place where you can click on it uh, to get onto the program using Zoom. Okay. So that's how you do it. Ed. Hey, hey, Alex, on that on the Gabnet page, where is your actual schedule of shows for Gabnet? I looked on there and there's up at the very stuff. top. There's like a rotating billboard with pictures and so on. And that oh, has yeah. different shows and what time they're on. I'll have to look again. Yeah. The, yeah. the top Sorry. of the page. Top of the page, left hand corner. Yeah. I'll so, look. Anyway. So where was I? So tell us. <clears throat> Republican caucuses. Yeah, it, it it's an it's a interesting process. It's just that it doesn't really mean much of anything, I don't think, because the results are never the kind of results that you get in the actual election. You know? Well, if that's the case, then why do they pour so much money into these things? The I, candidates. I guess maybe because all the TV networks make a big deal out of it. The first one's out. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, it, it's supposed to give you some momentum. But I mean, Trump lost uh, lost the last uh, caucus, uh, and um, he be went on to become the nominee. He was also, Joe Biden, that Joe, Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden oh. lost Iowa and New Hampshire before he won yeah. in South Carolina. He, it wasn't until South Carolina that he actually yeah. won. 
That's why they wanted South Carolina to be first this time. But I just, you know, I mean, I don't want to get too political on this show, but how dumb are those goddamn Republicans? (laughs) (laughs) That's not too political, right? (laughs) I don't mean to get political. No, I mean, well, I'll give you a good example. In Iowa, uh, the main voting group are the evangelicals. How can you, as an evangelical, in in your wildest imaginations, find Trump an appealing endorse him? And, because he's the guy who said he could pat women on their body, you know, their private parts. And it's okay. And it's okay. And he could shoot somebody in Fifth Avenue. You know, and all these things about him are so unchristian, unevangelical. I can't believe it. So what is what is the appeal to the evangelicals is what I don't get, you know. He fixed the Supreme Court. Huh? He fixed this fixed the Supreme Court. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but he hadn't and, done and that in 2016. Taking, and, huh? He hadn't done that in 2016, and the evangelicals supported yeah. it in 2016. Because he promised to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, come on. What you're going to follow the devil? Because he's going to pack the Supreme Court. You'd have to ask somebody of that persuasion. I don't. I don't really get it. But the, but they say um, some people say that that, that is uh, he's an imperfect tool of God. Yeah, I don't agree. I, I, well, think, I, <laughs> I don't think it, I, 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 I Andrew. Do. How did you get that? <laughs> I'm a Trump supporter. You didn't know. <laughs> I don't think he is an imperfect tool. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's not imperfect. But he is a tool. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's <laughs> what I meant. <laughs> yeah, but uh, anyway, enough of the politics. Uh, yes, please no. started it. But I uh, know I I spent a really nice time up there with Albert and <clears throat> Michael Billy was with us and our program director was with us. You know, I would think it would be interesting to see. I mean, you know, like I I'm I'm one of those people that really mm. likes to vote it makes me feel good to vote makes me feel like a citizen and Mm -hmm. um and it it must be kind of a kick for people to 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 feel like they're participating in their in their democracy well if you've spent your whole life living in iowa and this is the way you vote (laughs) this is something to do (laughs) paula do you like jury duty as well me? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. That's not a joke. I'm. It's a serious mm-hmm. question. Uh, I, I react like most people do for, uh, for jury duty, but yeah. I have to say that that uh, the the one time I came close to serving on a jury, uh, mm-hmm. I was pretty impressed with with um, with the process. Uh, uh, I was in Philly, and it was at City Hall, and you know, it was a place that that's uh, it's a beautiful looking place, but it, it's uh, the reputation and the corruption was was you know legendary but but I, the process was really interesting i thought and i watched people kind of shape up as they were chosen they kind of straightened up i mean you know like okay it, uh, um it's not the ideal world but it was pretty impressive actually well, I, I, uh, albert remember that i was called for jury duty and you go down there and you just sit at least here you sit yeah. until they opinion. dismiss you yeah yeah, yeah. Or until, until they, they choose you, you. But what happened was um, I was there and uh, the uh, other most famous person in that room was Steven Soderbergh. (laughs) Okay. So this little piece of crap, I'm talking to him about stuff and everything. And so finally he goes up there and he says, "I, I uh, I can't serve. And they say, why? And he said, because I'm making a movie in Cuba and I have to leave tomorrow and uh, I I want to be excused. And because he was so famous as a movie maker, the judge said, okay, he's still there. I go up and I say, well, I can't serve because I don't believe I should be someone who is uh, uh, judging other people. I don't like that idea. And the fact is, I don't believe that drugs are a legal question. They're a medical problem. And the judge said, okay, next, <laughs> right? <laughs> and as I'm leaving, Soderbergh, who got off because he's making a goddamn movie, says to me, 
well, that was a pretty cheap way to get out of it. <laughs> and I went, what was, the, what was your excuse? You know, so that was my touch with fame. Mm. <laughs> anyway, well, I never got movie, a Che, which happened to be a pretty good film. What movie? Che. Yeah. You mean it was two parts, I think. Uh, and it was it was actually a very good film. It's probably the best thing he's done. In Cuba. Huh? That was in Cuba. It was in Cuba? Cuba, yeah. Oh. He had to go to Cuba to do it. Wow. And he had, the State Department had given him credentials and so on, and they were going <clears> to inspire. <throat> and, you know, I mean, he should... I just believe that... I don't want people serving on a jury... Who don't want to be there, you know? Or can't. The only, the only time I got called for jury duty was on a grand jury, and I served for a month. Oh, that's wow. a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. You got to go down every day. Yep. Wow. What a lot of people don't realize about grand juries is the power that the prosecutors have. Yes. The power the prosecutors have. What do you mean in that? Yes. Well, they, they are the ones who present the case to the grand jury. Yep. And then the grand jury decides whether or not to indict. Mm -hmm. So it depends upon how good a schmoozing the prosecutor is as to whether the grand jury indicts or not. That has what? nothing to do with facts? Well, some of it has to do with facts, too. Yeah. Yeah. But they get to choose which facts to present. So they can. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Somebody said that that uh, a good prosecutor for a grand jury uh, can make it uh, make a case for a ham sandwich. I don't know. Who said that. Ham yeah. sandwich. Huh? Indict, Indict a ham sandwich. Indict, Indict a ham sandwich. sandwich. I don't, I don't know who believe that. Is have you ever known any ham sandwiches that have ever been <laughs> indicted by a grand jury? <laughs> no, good though. <laughs> Only on the Sabbath. Only on the Sabbath. <laughs> 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 oh boy so that's what would be scary to me is like getting called for a case i i was picked one time for a kidnapping case but it was only three days because uh it just was cut and dry but what gets me is the the fear of getting called and being on some long trial like because of like my job i know they have to i can't get fired because of it but my job would just suffer greatly if i was on for a long time. Yeah. Thank God that the trial for Trump here in New York didn't have <clears throat> a jury trial. Because that jury would have been there for like, what, four weeks, something like that? Yeah. Yeah. And just think about the Johnny Depp one. Yeah. They were there. Holy crap. Months. Yeah, but that was entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were half, you know, excited, but I'm just saying. I know I couldn't be fired, but I, I don't know what my employer would. I just wonder, like, what would my employer do? Would they just get somebody in here to try to do it? I, make me come in at night? I have no idea. Well, I think your employer has to keep you employed. Yeah, yeah I'm, they, they do. They have to pay you, but, but she still has to make up the work. Yeah. The I, work. Don't, I don't think they have to pay you. They just can't. Yes, they do. Get, yeah. here in New I, don't York. That, I don't know if that's every state. Uh, yeah, I'm in California. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the district for uh, for the Trump Florida trial. Ooh, oh, really? Mm -hmm. get Maybe you'll get called. It's possible. I was called just over a year ago, and, and the term is a year before they can call you again. So yeah. if it comes up this summer, it's possible. Oh, boy, yeah. you can nail them. You can nail them. <laughs> no, no. You know, I have people in my... Uh, in my community who say the same thing because they know I, 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 I don't have a favorable outlook on his, uh, his behavior. Um, I'll put it that way to be nice. Uh, but, but, but I said, no, I'm, I'm, I would go by the law. This is what you have to do. If you're, if you're right. called to do that, you, you have to serve properly. That has no bearing on, on what my decision would be. Oh, if I were, if I were to put on a, a Trump trial, okay. I would listen to all the evidence, I would weigh it, and then I'd convict him. <laughs> <laughs> They'd probably dismiss you out of hand. Exactly. Well, he, you know, he's I trying mean, to get off the jury. 
people say, wow, he's, you know, what's happening here in New York, that judge is just laying into him and he's, you know, whatever. And I'm going, all these trials, it's just time caught up with him. Yeah. You no. Know? It wasn't like he hasn't been. You lived in New York, Albert. How crooked was Donald Trump in New York in the eighties and nineties? I don't know how crooked with he was, but but I can tell you he was not uh, really an upstanding looking guy to me. He didn't pay his contractors. No, I'm told he didn't pay his his uh, taxes. He didn't pay his hookers <laughs> <laughs> who peed on him. So, <laughs> so, so, so alleged. By the way, do you get extra, do you get extra for that? Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm very bad at peeing on command. I get very pee, pee shy. Well, learn it because you get more money for that. <laughs> I mean, how are you doing that, but then you don't get paid? I mean, dang. I mean, I'm sure yeah. circles like don't take him as a client. I heard that's what they do if you don't pay them. <laughs> well, pay that's the Danny Thomas even. thing they do if you don't pay them. <laughs> so, uh, class, coffee, class coffee table. So anyway, it's probably really <laughs> freezing up there where you are, right, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Andrew? Yeah, it was one one degree this morning when I got up. And and Paula, it's how much? I don't know, but it's it's not very high because you know we uh, uh, Andrew and I live uh, about what forty about minutes 40, from each, about yeah. forty minutes apart. Do you have yeah. one of those Alexa devices? Yeah, right. Right now the temperature is it says uh, frigging cold. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me let me verify. It, it's up probably around around ten right now. Wow. It's, We're having it's, a heat. It's 16 in Akron. Yeah, it's, uh, it's at 15 here. Yeah, but we have a lot of wind as well. It's uh, 30 here. You can take a pill for that. It was oh. down around 22 earlier this morning. Yeah. How about you? It says it, it feels like eight. What is, what is oh. it? We can't see. There, Charlie, 28, 28 in Austin. It's what, actually it really? warmer in New York than in Austin. Yeah, wow. Wow. Mm. wow. It's like 55 here. Yeah. How's it? How's it down there, um, um, Mandy? Are you freezing? It was in the 40s today. I was in the mountains this weekend, and it was you know in the 30s. But um, it's like in the suburban Atlanta, it's been like 40s today. I think mm. you do in so the mountains. It's supposed to get really cold what this week. You, what'd you do in the mountains? Just tootled around, <laughs> just hung what? out. You weren't camping though, were you? No, oh, no camping. We stayed at a friend's like little cottage. They have a house fixed up, and um, who goes camping this time of year? And he yeah. ran into, like a friend of the, the my boyfriend, his friend. We ran into, and they were camping, and they uh. Uh, uh, nope. Just went to out to eat, went to you know shopping. You know, yeah, yeah, that's really nice. Just... When I was a kid, we used to tamp down the snow before we'd set up the tents. <laughs> <laughs> You, it was just normal. We would go camping. We you tamp down the snow, <laughs> set up the tamp tent. Down the snow. Yeah, you tamp it down. So you got a flat spot. You set up the tent, and hmm. you it's go gotta be really cold. It is, but you got good sleeping bag, and hmm. it's something to say you did. It's like ice diving yeah, when you're a scuba diver. Floor of that tent's got to be freezing. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. You got a sleeping bag and a cushion, so it's huh? durable. The same was back in my scuba days. Hey, the ice diving was something I had to do once. Funny, I was talking to Marjorie about this just the other day, and I was talking about exactly that, the what? camping. And I always hated camping. <laughs> you know, if I can't sit, stick a plug in an electric socket, I don't want to be there. <laughs> I, I just, I couldn't, uh, I was just not very good at camping. Yeah. No. I remember once we went up, where did we go? We went to some kind of meeting or something up in the woods somewhere. And I can't remember what it was for or whatever, but we were there for three days. And in those three days, I did not take a dump. <laughs> <laughs> what else is it? Hey, we he, feel he's good. not a problem. You can do that against a bush. Guys learn how to do that. The great thing about being a guy is you actually have equipment that's an extension from your body to be able to uh, get rid of your, you know, fluids. 
Women have to squat. Yeah, if guys guys can do it. We can do it out of a moving car if we have. <laughs> you know. But when it comes to going and taking a dump, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. <clears throat> Listen, the camping, I, I would not do any of that really. Hmm. Arc I mean, we go to state parks, which have really nice comfort stations, as they oh, call it. I say, okay. All right. <laughs> I've toilet, they're always really clean, like both South Carolina and Georgia, definitely. I think South Carolina is probably better than Georgia, but very nice comfort stations have showers, bathrooms. And most of the people at those campgrounds have those big ass 40 foot. That's not yeah. camping. That's right. riding your home I, with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. The the one we have is like a little, it's got let's have electricity ability that's got a little air conditioning unit in it. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. for but you're just really setting up a little home site so then you can just do stuff <clears throat> like a restaurant in a little town you know you just kind of getting away out into the country i gotta look and see what time <clears throat> it is. oh okay we still got about five minutes left but i as I, I never was into camping how about you you albert you don't look like the camping kind of guy i used to go quite often several times a summer Really? Down to the Delaware Water Gap. Ah. Me and my buddy and uh, both of our dogs, we'd go canoeing 15 miles down the Delaware and come mm -hmm. back, make our steaks, beans, mm -hmm. you know, the guitars out, playing the, yeah, I used to love it. Where did you grow up? In New York. In New York. In Queens. <laughs> so, yeah. we drove to, we drove to the border of uh, Jersey and Pennsylvania, Jersey and Pennsylvania and uh found a, a campsite that <clears throat> to on a regular basis and to me roughing it is no cable yeah. <laughs> yeah. well then i rough it several times a week because my cable company provides that often <laughs> <laughs> well for me and marjorie camp uh uh you was, you ever, was, you was you driving ever, to you? driving to atlantic city and staying in a motel right. <laughs> well, wait a minute, Paul, are you going camping ever going camping not i oh, oh. see how about you, Vernon? No, my wife. My wife's idea of roughing it is when the ice machine breaks down. There you exactly. go. <laughs> exactly. How about you, Jeff? Ever go camping? Oh yeah, too many times. <laughs> but why do you say too maybe many three. times? Somebody force you to do it? Uh, no, I I used to go, but then after a while you get bored. With it. Yeah. You know, people love it. People don't. But the fun thing was, uh, you would always have, I was like a teenager, and uh, and they had somebody drive you, okay? And they went with you and watched you make make sure you didn't kill yourself. <laughs> but, but anyway, my dad was the guy who drove one time. And uh, everybody gets out, and he goes to a a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Smart. way to do it. Did, That's I, the did, way. did I ask you, Charlie, if you ever? No, no. But I uh, I was in the Boy Scouts, so I went camping when I was a kid. But mm -hmm. as an adult, I think I've only been twice. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I was dragged, kicking, and screaming both times. <laughs> By the way, you know, Boy Scout. I never, I never became a Boy Scout. But I did be officially become a Girl Scout. <laughs> now you wonder how this came about. I became a counselor for a, a what do you call it, a Girl Scout camp. Oh. And because I was a counselor, they made me an honorary member of the Girl Scouts. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Girl Scouts. <laughs> daughter was in Girl Scouts and. She loved it. She was in it till sixth grade, you know, did the whole cookie thing. I mean, we had a great leader. I mean, it was just the perfect size troop. They all stayed together. It was like nine of them. Uh, my younger daughter never, she was in it like one year. She, she kind of like grew up in it with my other daughter, but that, I mean, I thought it was a really good experience. Well, all I remember is that I and the other camp counselors, when all the kids went to sleep, <laughs> after there one night, we were really bored. And we noticed that we had a crate of eggs for breakfast to make breakfast for the kids, okay? Mm -hmm. And we thought it really was hilarious because we bought, brought some slingshots along. 
Oh, blow no. the slingshots with eggs and shoot them at trees. So by the time morning came, we mm. had to tell all the campers that, well, this morning we're having a camper's breakfast. No mm. eggs. Well, they had eggs. They were just had a lot of water in them. And so it was like, you know. I was when, you said, when you said slingshots, I thought you meant a drink. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, I noticed that we're oh we've, uh, we've that's it we've hit that's we've it. hit five o'clock yep. yeah yeah well it's been fun today it's been nice yeah, it's nice to me <clears throat> isn't that disgusting isn't that gross uh, <laughs> it even makes me feel disgusted now you really <laughs> demonetize it what? you know what it's like to wake up in the morning and there's an old woman in bed next to you there we go again. I just, that, <laughs> Who looks better than you do anyway <laughs> okay did i save that one paula <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey, thanks paula we really appreciate it very nice of you to be here uh charlie mm -hmm. always nice to have you here len lafrisco uh, andrew deutsch left us but i want to thank andrew deutsch for being with us mandy you look so relaxed and it's a day off and you're i'm not how, how are you enjoying your new home? Very much. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, You're officially a homeowner now, right? Every year. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, Jeff, nice having you here. Yes. Thank you. And uh, also Vernon, good to have you here. Marjorie, very nice to have you here. Oh, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> She's your square. I don't know why you'd ever signed off. <clears throat> Finally, Albert, terrific. You Don't know. forget to caucus, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I got to talk as I got to do some more mm. stuff with you for the night show. So I'll, I'll give you a, 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 a ring. heads up, a ring or something. I'm not marrying him. I'm not going to give him a ring. Anyway, and finally, to sign us off today, once again, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely and attractive <laughs> Edward Berger, who says, that's all, folks. Okay, everybody. <laughs> big wave goodbye. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Bye-bye.